Hi, happy little readers! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be reading a book called Halloween from National Geographic Kids, written by Laura Marsh. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for more children's books. Halloween. Halloween fun. Costumes, candy, trick-or-treating, parties, games, and lots of eating. Halloween just can't be beat. It's a holiday that's one big treat. Ghosts and goblins, pumpkins too. Black cats, bats, and witches brew. In October, have you seen all of these things on Halloween? Trick or treat. What's the best part about Halloween? Most kids would say trick or treating. Going door to door for candy is lots of fun. Candy corn is a popular Halloween treat. It was first made more than a hundred years ago. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Costumes. What will you be for Halloween? Will you be silly or scary? Something real or make-believe? You can be almost anything. How about a circus clown, a bat, a shark, a ghost? Pumpkin picking. Do you know where pumpkins come from? A pumpkin patch. Tricky term. Patch, a small piece of land where fruits and vegetables grow. A pumpkin grows from a seed. First, a vine grows from the seed. Then the vine grows fruit. Pumpkin fruit, that is. Pumpkins can be big or small, round or wide, and tall and skinny. Jack-o'-lanterns. You can make a jack-o'-lantern. Draw a funny face on the pumpkin. Ask an adult to carve it for you. Then place a light inside. We carve jack-o'-lanterns in America, but jack-o'-lanterns started in Ireland. People there carved turnips, beets, or potatoes. Painting pumpkins. You can paint a pumpkin for Halloween. Pumpkin faces can be silly or serious. They can be scary or friendly. You can paint monsters, a pirate, or even a puppy. Six Halloween fun facts. One, each pumpkin has about 500 seeds. Two, most parents say they eat candy from their kids' Halloween bags. Three, the most popular costumes are witches, princesses, and superheroes. Four, the world's largest pumpkin had to be lifted by a tractor. Five, half of Americans decorate their homes for Halloween. Six, pumpkins can be orange, red, green, yellow, blue, tan, or white. A spooky home. Give trick-or-treaters a creepy welcome on Halloween night. Here are some ideas. Cover bushes with fake spider webs. Play spooky music. Decorate your doorway with paper black bats. Hang a skeleton or a ghost in a window. Pet parade. Why should people have all the fun? Pets can dress up too. Check out these funny pet costumes. Halloween candy is not for pets. Make sure pets only eat treats just made for them. First Halloweens. Halloween traditions started in ancient times. People dressed in costumes. They lit fires. They believed this would scare away ghosts. October 31st was called All Hallows Eve. That's how we got the name Halloween. Tricky term. Tradition. A way of doing something that is passed from older family members to children. Ancient. From a long time. Very long ago. Halloween today. Halloween is a mix of these traditions. They come from Europe, North America, and South America. But most of all, Halloween is a day for fun. Day of the Dead. Instead of Halloween, some people around the world celebrate the Day of the Dead. It's similar to Halloween, but it's different too. Families honor those who have died. They make special food. They decorate graves. Sometimes, children dress in skeleton costumes. They also eat skull-shaped candy. Tricky term, honor to assure respect for someone or something. Decorating a grave with flowers in Mexico. The Day of the Dead is called Dia de los Muertos in Spanish. Candy Sugar Skulls. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of Halloween objects. Use the hints to find out what's in the picture. One, hint, a chewy, sweet treat on a stick. 
Two, a pumpkin grows from one of these. Three, a candle inside makes it glow. Four, it sleeps upside down. Five, it spins a web. And finally, six, most are orange, but they can be some other colors too. Did you get them? Next, we have some tricky terms. Ancient, from a long time ago, very old. Honor, to show respect for someone or something. Tradition, a way of doing something that is passed down from older family members to children. And finally, patch, a small piece of land where fruits and vegetables grow. The end. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for more children's books.